Okay, well, nothing's worse than not being able to see what you're trying to look at. So I went ahead and got a light, and I've got the tilt bed. This is tilt bed part, who knows, six out of a hundred. But anyway, this is everything. It's it's uh, functioning. I was going to show you where the... This is the view you've got once your bed is up. And I've got it at the raised level where I had to manually push it up. And I'll, I can explain a little bit of that later. But this lets you see where I had to fabricate this cross brace. I've welded it over on that side. And then I've also welded it back over here. But I made a couple of different places for the actuator to mount. And it pivots within this. And I did that because I didn't really know where I was going to go. But this will also show you the hinges. That's the front one. There's the rear hinge, and those, if you look at parts one and or two and three, you'll see how to fabricate those, but you'll also see right here where all of this is. And I'm going to sit you down here and stop shaking the camera around. That probably bothers you as bad as it does me. Okay, so in order to bring this down, as you can see, the actuator is at an angle where it's, it's holding the bed, it's got it very secure, but I need it to come back in order to go down. And that's why I put the bungee cord on there, so yeah, it's kind of hokey at the moment, but it works. Because then that's as far as it will go with the actuator doing all the work. I've reversed the polarity on the switch, so I'm grounding the positive, and now I'm putting power to the negative. And I'm going to use my actuator. If you're needing any information on how to wire up actuator, etc., go to hotrodbulletinboard.com or hotrodders.com. That's H O T and then rodder. R O D D E R S.com. You'll find a lot of good information. It's a forum. Those guys have really been helpful because I don't like electrical. But I've figured out quite a bit. As you can see, that's all the way down. And that's it.